Hi everyone, thank you so much for listening to this video. I'm really grateful to you guys. I love you all very much. Everyone here is very important to me, no matter where you're from, no matter what your background is, no matter what you do, what your religion is, what your race is, it doesn't make any difference to us here. The spirit is one in God's eyes and we are all created as one. Now, this is an elaboration regarding the short that I posted a few hours back because I had a new vision regarding something that was going to happen around the world. Okay, everywhere. Okay. Um, I don't enjoy posting things like this at all. Okay, but it is my job to give you all the truth. Whether... Um, we take it or we leave it. It is up to you. This is a vision I have had. My channel has a reputation for all of the predictions coming true. And you will find that if you go through the channel and you watch all of the prediction videos, they usually are done a little while before something happens and nobody knows about it at all. And then it happens. Okay, so I am grateful to God the Most High for giving me the ability to do this. I ask for your kindness, your grace, and your acceptance, for your humility in listening to this message. It is not easy for me. I have had a good cry before I recorded this message, okay? But the spirits have asked me to be, um, it's, all, it's like being cruel to be kind. The truth needs to be known of what is very likely to happen. Of course, everything is in God's hand, hands and we pray every day and every hour of every day to God the Most High to stop these things and not to allow them to happen. But what I was shown, because I was deep in prayer before I made this video, I was shown lily flowers and these mean, in my, in my spiritual visions, they mean wisdom and they mean there is a reason for something. And they mean... They also encourage everyone to be wise. Um, I also saw a bridge and it was broken up, uh, but it was also a very rough road, but it was very straight, like a straight line. And that is us that usually in my spirituality, in my spirit science, it means something is destined to happen for a bigger reason. Okay. So I'm going to share the vision with you guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, being so kind-hearted and loving. I appreciate you all. And may God bring us all against this and may we all be okay. Anyone who's listening to this, I have been promised, will be okay and nothing will happen to them. So if you have someone that you care about, send them this video. And we pray to God that this video act as a, acts as a protective, I did a, a protective um, energy. I did do a prayer, okay, over it before I started, okay, over everything that I've written down. Because I had to sit down with spirit and go into the details. They asked me to go into the details. So the vision was that I saw a beautiful black lady in a classroom. And it looked like, um, you know, these, um, the, the big gymnasiums where there's, a, it's a classroom, but also a big gymnasium or a big um, kind of um, uh, spacious building where students learn. Because I saw seats, I saw two kinds of seats, I saw students' seats and desks, and I saw... Uh, on my right hand, stairs, like the stairs, but they these stairs will also be used for, you know, when the ones you sit on, sit on when you watch a baseball game or a, <laughs> or a game in a gymnasium, also these kinds of seats, okay? And there was a window above them, and the sky outside was jet black. There was nothing there. And there was this lady sitting in front of me, and she was beautiful, very beautiful, Black woman dressed in a brown dress, very beautiful, like color, you know, brownish, copperish brown, something like that. She had her hair back um, and she was looking at me. I looked outside of the window. I saw something in the sky. It looked like a star, like a starfish. It was shining. And then this came outside out of the, suddenly the, set, the, the next caption they showed me was this star was in the lady's hands. 
The stars, as the lady held it in her hands, it looked like it was made out of fe- f- flesh. It was a starfish, but it was made out of flesh, meat, red meat. And um, there was some glitter on it, glitter of some kind or like starry lights on it. And also the light of God was shining onto this whole thing. In my visions, when I get my, my uh, premonitions, I see a white, clear, crystal clear light. And that is God. They tell me that is the light of God. So when I see a vision, when that light is present, it means that God is overseeing this vision. And he is the one who is bringing it forward for us to see. Okay, in what in whichever way that happens through the extraterrestrials, through spirits, through, through elementals, through the brain, it's just God is bringing it forward for us to see, for me to see. Okay, and it means that it's the truth. It always happens. I see prophets and holy people. Excuse me, and holy people in it. Um, in that white light, usually, like I've seen um, the prophets that I've seen before. I've seen many prophets, many prophets, um, because I'm from an, an Abrahamic lineage and that is documented. So I've seen many prophets on that. So um, light, under that light, it was a white light. And that's how I came to knew that it's the light of God. So the first thing they said to me here that, there are going to be two illnesses going forward. One of them is already here. Meat in our traditions, uh, which is um, in, many, in, many, in many dream uh, interpretation books or vision interpretations, red, when, it, when we see red meat, when I see red meat, it means sickness and death. Okay, there's no other way to see it. Okay, if I see someone and next to them there's meat hanging in a vision, like raw, red raw meat, it means that pass, person is going to pass on. And that has happened to me with many people that I know. Okay, even relatives of mine and people that I've cared about in the past, I have seen that. And it has been a, it's usually very harrowing for me. So it's very hard for me to see it. So I saw that meat. There are going to be two diseases, apparently, two viruses, they said to me. One of them is already here, which is the the corona, which is like, you know, we, we all know that that is probably coming to an end, God willing, now that, that hopefully I pray to God that it doesn't like develop into anything worse. Um, I did... If you checked my the prediction I did in September when I said beware of November, I predicted the flare up of the coronavirus that's happening now. Okay, so if you go to that video, you'll see that. And I predicted the 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 fires in London before they happened uh, in the summer. I also predicted I did the reading in March and I predicted them in that reading. Okay, amongst many other things that if you'll have to listen to my psychic predictions readings to see how accurate and how extensive the information was okay i've recorded it okay so the um light of god was shining on the place illuminating this lady there's two viruses they said to me so i i I, now i'm talking to the spirits after the vision they said to me there's going to be two viruses both of them are waterborne or droplet transmission which is what we call in medicine droplet transmission. They, they, they get transmitted via water droplets, okay? Hence the starfish and hence the, um, the, the connection to the water. And if you've seen, if you look at my November prediction, I, I, my vision contained a lot of water then. So I think that could be talking about this new thing that's coming. They said to me that it is not corona, uh, this new thing. It is something completely new, okay? And unfortunately, it will take years to fully understand. Okay, it's not going to be something that's going to be understood like immediately. The same thing I probably that's happened like that's happened with Corona. It's going to take years for it to be fully like uh, grasped or understood. Okay. Now, um, this is going to happen fast. There's not going to be a lot of time that will pass before this happens. So this is probably, the spirits are saying a week, okay? But timings are always, 
From my experience, timing is a bit difficult for more difficult for spirit, but they haven't been wrong about any of the illnesses now until now or anything that's happened until now with the timings they're like global things so they've given me they said in a week's time this thing is going to start to appear okay that people will not know about it for a little while there's going to be an a delusion that everything is okay because they said to me that the news um company uh, like the the television companies and so on obviously it's very hard for them to tell people about these things sometimes that can cause panic it can cause people to be uh, you know scared unnecessarily when it's on the news you know it's not like psychic readings and psychic predictions people can take them or leave them or believe them or say this person is full of you know wind and they <laughs> they're not real so when it, when it's on the news it's hard and we have to look at um, understand their point of view from their point of view okay until they decide the people who control this these kind of businesses, okay? They, for whatever reason, I did not see that it was intentional, okay, by any news, uh, news outlet that it was hidden. The delusion could be caused by something else, but there will be a delusion that everything is okay whilst this thing is starting, okay? Um, and I heard... I heard in, in the vision something I didn't mention. I heard very clearly... Um, someone say, saying, I will teach them the fear of the Lord. I will teach them the fear of the Lord. I will teach them the fear of the Lord. Three times they repeated it. And the Spirit said to me, whoever gets this um, new um, sickness, God forbid, okay, God protect you all and protect us all, it will be for a divine reason and there will be a higher purpose for it. Okay, um, they said that if you want to escape it, and I've said it, in, they said this in my videos before, and probably you are observing, observing it if you're st someone spiritual in your life and in your practice. If you want, if you don't want something like this to happen to you, be good, be kind, believe in God, and believe that God can save you, and believe that these things. Human beings are very small, okay? We are very small compared to God, okay? He's created this universe and everywhere else, okay? Whatever number of universes there are, whatever number of creations there are, there is one God that presides over them all, who nobody will understand or ever be able to understand the actual nature of, because it's bigger than us, because our brains are limited by our skulls. The nature of the creator is much bigger. If my brain was as big as the universe, I still wouldn't be able to understand what that energy is or if it is even an energy because it's created energy. Okay, so they're saying that this, these things are coming from the most high. That's all I heard. And I heard these phrases like I will teach them the fear of the Lord. Um... And so they said, they told me to give this advice to people. People are free to take it or leave it, to believe it or not to believe it. That will be up to the person and time will prove if I am, if I am right or I am wrong. Okay? I don't want to unnecessarily frighten anyone. You need to make your own decisions. But from what I've been seeing in my practice and what I feel in my heart, the thing that protects people from getting these kinds of things is being pure of heart and doing their best to help others and getting down of their high horses, everything. Stop being like everything is me, 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 okay? We need to start thinking of others, how they are, what their emotions are like what they are uh, going through. If we can help, I'm not asking anyone to go outside of their means to help anybody, but if you are able to help, definitely if you give something to the poor or you do a good deed of any kind, it will stand between you and these things that are coming from the Most High because it will be, you will be following His advice, okay? So... I'm feeling very strongly that I need to, de to, to say this. And, and, you know, and people are, like I said, I am not trying to change anyone's mind or force anyone to believe anything. This is what I have seen. One thing I know is that my predictions and visions never, ever fail. They never fail. Even if sometimes they tarry, they never fail. 
okay? And I will not speak about anything unless I am 100,000% sure about what I'm talking about. I've spent the whole day checking what this actually was, okay? So I need you guys to listen with open ears, look after yourselves, okay? And be careful, okay? I would advise people to try not to, you know, um, it, it's still not here, so after a week or so, try not to, like, you know, mix with people too much if you can, if you are able to. Obviously, God protects all of us, but we have to do what we have to do, okay? I'm sorry I'm, like, you know, being your big daddy or big mommy, but <laughs> I have to say this. <coughs> I, I have a responsibility to say this. Okay, I have a responsibility because I know I'm talking about something real. Okay, I love you guys so much. Um, and like I said, I've done a lot of prayers for you guys. If you want me to help you out, I do spiritual health protections. Okay, and my work, my spiritual work has a very good reputation. Okay, and I've got millions, um, I mean, thousands of reviews. Okay, or hundreds or thousands of reviews. Okay, so... And they are like five-star reviews. I really look after my clients. So I can help you. I'm not doing this for any business or money or to push. I don't need anyone's money. My family is, very, is okay. They're very good. Okay? I, am, I come from wealth. I don't come from poverty, thank God. Okay? So I don't need the money for myself, really. I just want to help. Whether someone sees it this way or not is up to them. Okay, it's not my problem. Okay, but I am here to help and unconditionally love everyone. And help everyone unconditionally and do my best to help. Okay, I'm helping a lot of people. And, you know, if you need that, the, the costs of these things are an energy transfer. A person pays for something and spiritual people will know about this. If someone doesn't pay for, for rituals and spiritual work, they don't get results. Okay, so there won't be protection protected. It'll be void. Even if I have the best of intentions and I want to help someone, they won't get that protection. Okay, if they have the money. It's different sometimes when we have people who I can see that they need the help desperately and they need something. Then I can, I'll do something for them without any money. Okay, that I do that often. But I have to be guided to by spirits, oh, by spirit, okay? And, you know, at this stage, we have to think about the spiritual stuff because what's going on is, at, at the very least, is very eerie, isn't it? So for those who don't believe in anything like this, you've got to um, let go of your stubbornness because you could be wrong, okay? You don't know it either way, okay? I know it because I've seen a lot, but some, many people don't know the truth, whether there's, there's a God or not, or whatever, depending on what they've been brought up in or how they've been brought up, okay? I know because I've seen, but if you don't know, give it a 50% chance, okay? Because it's looking like there is one now, okay? I love you guys so much. Be blessed always, protected, loved. Know, you, know that you are welcome here. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I will always be here for you guys and do my best to help you and to love on you and to hold you as hard as I can. Okay? I love you all very much. Please be strong. I know that you're all going to be amazing. And may God the Most High protect you all from all, any and all harm. Amen and Amen. Thank you so much, you guys. I will see you guys in your next video.